empires on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. Open your eyes. It's time to give your eyes a powerful nutritional boost. Sight is the primary input to the brain, arguably making eyesight the most important sense we have. And just like the other important organs in our bodies, our eyes function at peak levels when they are fed the proper amounts of essential nutrition. Open your eyes. Combining key ingredients like vitamin A, zinc, lutein, proprietary saffron bulb extracts, and more, OccuPower by InfoWars Life is a new formulation specifically designed to nutritionally assist the natural function of healthy eyes. Optimize the natural power of your eyes with the latest addition to the super high quality InfoWars Life formulations, OccuPower. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to order OccuPower or call 1-888-253-3139. OccuPower, open your eyes. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. I'm David Hall, founder of Diamond Gusset, where we are proud of our 100% grown and sewn American-made jeans. Whether you're out for dinner, working on the farm, or on the road, Diamond Gusset Jeans offers a full spectrum of style and sizes for any occasion. Our loyal customers enable us to continue sponsoring Liberty Media outlets. Use promo code FREEDOM to receive a 15% discount at gusset.com. In Liberty, David Hall, Diamond Gusset Jean Company. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I'm going to try to say this as clearly as I can for new listeners who may have tuned in for the first time in Los Angeles or Oklahoma City or other cities where we have new affiliates. I am trying to bring hope to the situation. But the only hope we have, I'm not trying to be scary or negative here. The only hope we have is realizing in our gut and in our minds intellectually, deep down, that the social engineers that are running our globe, the technocrats, have it out for us on record and have built the civilization that we're living in. They've basically hijacked what our forebears built, what we built, and they've built into it multivariate, multifaceted Trojan horse systems of domination degradation, control, physical and mental illness. They are carrying out a soft kill war developed by British, German, and U.S. eugenicists more than 100 years ago. If you don't know what a social engineer is, if you don't know what eugenics is, 
It's what governs everything, not fantasy football, not tailgating. And I like a good tailgate with, with some brisket and a cold drink as much as anybody. But that's the average man's God is just go to work, make money, go home, watch TV, watch Sports Center, have a good time. Okay, well, then don't have kids then if you have that attitude, okay? Because they want to shoot your kids up with a bunch of poisonous vaccines. You're being socially, genetically, and mentally manipulated. The GMO kills the lab animals in every major test out there or mutates them. You're living in a science fiction movie is what I'm trying to get across to you. Not my opinion. And, and they... They kept saying drones will replace all military by 2025. And now they're like, oh, by 2020. Oh, now by 2018. See, they always tell you it's coming off the future. Then suddenly today, the headlines hit everywhere. Humanoid robots to hit the stores. Japan unveils fastest two-legged robot in the world. Those stories are up on drudgereport.com and they're on infowars.com. But that's what we're talking about. It's all just being rolled out now by, oh, gee, well, you know what? We are watching everything you do and controlling it. But Homeland Security's lost track of 6,000 foreigners on student visas who were listed as dangerous. And now a British company is invading the U.S., with crowdsourcing political campaigns where they claim it's all grassroots, but they'll push with the media, the ones they want to promote, to even give more money. And Obama has come out and said, yes, Democrats, you need average Democrat, give us money, and then, and then you will outdo the special interest. No, they'll just take your money as well. Joe Biden has come out and said, we're going to play the clip coming up, Let's take America back. You know, when Republicans or Libertarians say that, they claim it's code for racist. Of course, if you say death panels are horrible and point out where they are in the bill, they go, that's racist too. But see, that's 1984. When they use that term, it's okay. Take America back. The Democratic Party has run this country since its inception. The Democratic Party uh, basically founded the Ku Klux Klan. The Democratic Party runs this nation. The Republican just plays second fiddle as a placeholder and fake opposition. I mean, you are the president. You've had the Senate and for a while the House. You've got the governors. Every, you've got everything. So you do run things with the dollar devaluation and the corporate welfare and the society breaking down. And the idea with their lean forward, that's a Leninist uh Karl Marxian and even predates Lenin, but, but that's a Lenin slogan, lean forward. This is how dumb they think you are. Your children belong to the state. You didn't build your business. Uh, lean forward. I, 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 it's just For anyone who studied history, this is so over the top, ladies and gentlemen. It's 12 Zone. And the scientific dictators openly write in their own books. They do this because it works. We follow the same patterns over and over again. So I'm just basically here watching us go over the edge of a cliff. Watching the preparations for civil war. Watching the preparations to let Al-Qaeda, now rebranded IS, attack the United States and Europe. And then they'll just build up the paramilitary forces and the police and then point them at gun owners, libertarians, conservatives, the Tea Party. And I, and I told you that 12, 13 years ago. I told you that six years ago. I told you that a month ago. You now notice it's all happening. Because I've learned their algorithm. I've learned how the globalists operate. One year ago, over 75% of Americans, we have the polls today. Steve Watson wrote an article about it at Infowars.com. Where almost 80% of Americans, depending on the poll, some were higher, but I say 75, 76, that was the average poll, it was a bunch of them, was against aiding Al-Qaeda in overthrowing Syria because the narrative got out through this show and through others and then Senator Paul, Senator Cruz and others that we don't want to be Al-Qaeda's Air Force. The military rebelled and that was a magic moment. I just got chills. I really did. A magic moment.
where when they finally called that off and General Dempsey went and said there's going to be a military rebellion, we will not back al-Qaeda, I cried. Dry, and I rarely cry, folks. I literally didn't boo-hoo like somebody died. It was tears of joy. I was smiling in the car, leaning on the steering wheel, driving in traffic, racked with the joy that we could be a moral nation again. We could turn the tide. We'll never be perfect, but try to be good, try to be honest, try to be on the right side of history. And it was such a Death Star destruction level event, I cried. Bigger than when we got the secret UN documents that it's really all about carbon taxes and eugenics and destroying the third world. When we got that secret document, it was confirmed to be authentic, and we basically broke it here on the air with Lord Moncton. I didn't cry. I actually had the guys go get champagne. We had champagne on air. And you watch. That crippled their whole carbon tax operation that, that, that's still alive, but barely. It was like the Death Star blowing up. I mean, I know you're excited when your team wins the finals or semifinals or wins the Rose Bowl or what? I, I understand. I understand. But when we're toe-to-toe -to -toe against eugenicists sworn to, to destroy us and we have major devastating victories against them, I want to celebrate them. The enemy is not going to celebrate these victories for us. It is a celebration that we reach 20 million people a week on all the different platforms we have. It's a celebration that we dominate Boxy and Roku and iTunes and hundreds of other platforms uh, that we're on where people can vote with you know, just clicking a true vote in the market of ideas. I'm not bragging about us. I'm giving you the good news. It is a true victory that so-called alternative news sites that were called tabloid and all this other bull by dinosaur state-run media are now the dominant media in their constellation. And by that, together in our groups, promoting liberty, promoting real news, real ideas, doesn't mean we even all agree with each other. An Infowars.com, a WorldNet Daily, a DrudgeReport.com, a Blaze, whatever. Even though none of us are perfect or have all the answers, together, the, the marketplace of ideas, the listeners, the commenters, the people, the guests, is creating a, a, a alternative to the establishment that, that is closer to reality by light years than what the establishment's putting out, who's trying to deceive. I was on the elliptical for 45 minutes this morning, and I was watching MSNBC monitoring state-run media, literally, and it is a chore. It was work with the audio off, just, just reading the text. Because if I look at the fake narcissistic confidence faces they're making that they get coached on, because with dumbed-down masses just looking confidence, all that matters with their, with their victims that, you know, that watch them. So I, I, I read the text. I don't look at their faces. Because to watch them premeditatedly perched on the public, feeding on everyone makes me want to throw up. But I was sitting there and just seeing how they do it. Well, this is going to make Latinos mad. Obama is going to wait till after the midterm elections. He would promised by the end of August to take executive action to, you know, to, to legalize them by fiat and to stop deportations. But he didn't do that. Well, it's probably a good calculation because we can get more done later, you know, if we don't do this. Within that 30 seconds was just every word was a lie. Everything they said was a preposition propaganda point to reassert other mindless base propaganda. First off, the idea that if you're a quote Latino, set to be within five years, the majority in the United States, already the majority and under the age of 15. It's your country. You really want it to be socialist or globalist? But they, if you want to take it from a racial position, it's your country. You understand that? But see, they can sell, oh, no, no, it's your country when you sign on to gun control, socialism, and open borders with a collapsing Latin America that everyone's trying to flee. So here, let's turn it into that completely. Let's politically adopt what did that there. Devaluation of the currencies, paramilitary police, it just it goes from there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, just, just right down to Z. Number one lie, see, every, every two, three words was a lie. Latinos are going to be angry because, again, re reasserting, repositioning, reapplying that if you're, quote, Latino, we're going to tell you how to think. 
and you are going to support the Democratic Party, and you're going to support the North American Union, and you're going to support an open end to this country.